I'm Dr. Nanda. I completed my MBBS from Oxford Medical College Hospital and Research Center, Atibele. I am here to help the UG aspirants at the medical mentors who have started a new initiative called Know My College Before I Choose, KYC and BYC. About the college overview and the infrastructure, it is about 30 to 32 acres huge and it has separate blocks for each, that is college, hospital and the hostel facilities. And about the faculties, if you come across, they are the very best faculties which we have faced till now, till today. We have the best faculties in each and every department, let it be paraclinical, let it be non-clinical and let it be clinical subject. Both all the three parts have the best faculties with good care and they are ready to help you at any time possible. Let it be in the classroom or outside the classroom, they are always ready to help you in that case. And about the hostel facilities, if you ask about, then it, it is like hostel is separate for the boys and the girls and it is separate for the PG aspirants also and for the residents also you will be facilitated with the hostel facilities. And about the food, it is South Indian food and you will get non veg twice a week. That is that and it is very hygienic and very healthy food they are going to give you. Uh, if you talk about the practical experience, uh, practical mainly for the non-clinical subject that is like for anatomy, pharmacology, physiology and all, you have a very good lab facilities with the very good infrastructure inside with all the facilities available individually for each thing. It is not like you are clubbed with together with many people. It has separate separate for each and every person individually. And when you come across the paraclinical subjects that is for your ENT, ophthal and all the patient flow is very good. As mine was the first batch like I started my MBBS career in 2014. That was the first batch for the Oxford Medical College. When compared to the 2014 batch to 2021 batch it has increased way too much. You can see the vast difference from 2014 to 2021 there are like many people many the patient load has increased from like you can tell like from 10 percent now it is like more than 70 to 80 percent improvement you can see in each and every department that is like mainly you have more inflow in like medicine department surgery department obg and the uh, operation theaters if you go like for the surgery departments you have separate ot facilities for each and every surgical departments like ortho you have a separate ot with the facilities of the x-ray and all the ortho equipments are very good uh, and uh, for the OBG also you have a separate OT for the fact uh, for the separate OT and of that also all the minor and the major procedures are completely done and with the hospital the OPD and the IPs are very well are very well organized like the OPDs we have from like morning 8 30 it starts till uh, 4 o'clock it will be there and IP facilities are there we have inpatient a uh, huge number of inpatient when compared to the previous years with the night duty faculties and the casualty is very well working with an emergency department also with the doctors available 24 bar 7 for your uh, night duties also with the very well faculties done then uh, about my internship i have to tell you why because I'm, i did my internship during the covid time uh, till march it was a very good internship flow where because i finished my major subject like medicine surgery obg which had a very good inflow of patients suddenly after the covid started we had to take up the covid uh, according to the government we had to take the covid wards so we had almost around 350 to 400 beds for the covid which was very well organized as it was a first flow with the good hygienic food and the facilities with the doctor facilities and the hygiene and the uh, downing doffing everything was particularly it was separate from each and everything and it was very well maintained and so i think we were able to come out of the first wave because of that and our faculties help us in every way let it be in any time in through phone call let it be or let it be online or however it is it will be the best and about the pg uh, pg faculties and the pg aspirants it started from the last year so they are also engaged in the uh, covid duties and uh, all the departments i think they are almost up to the mark uh, like even the medicine obg surgery pediatrics everything are very good